Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's meal prep video is gonna be awesome. We're gonna make five days worth of food that's gonna cover you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna do my best to keep these meals simple, but delicious, nutritious, and full of protein. So these are gonna give you about 2,000 calories per day and 120 grams of protein. So if you're interested in the full macros of each meal and the nutrient breakdown, stick around to the end where I go over that in chronometer. But we've got lots to cook today, so let's get started with breakfast, which is a baked tofu and veggie scramble with seasoned potatoes and salsa. So first you wanna start by crumbling four blocks of extra firm tofu into a large mixing bowl. Next we're gonna add some seasoning. So start with two tablespoons of garlic powder, three tablespoons of onion powder. So we want this thing to be flavorful. I know it seems like a lot of seasoning, but remember this is for five meals. Two teaspoons of turmeric. So this is obviously gonna give it a nice like orangey yellow color, but turmeric's also great for helping to lower inflammation. So whenever you use turmeric though, you wanna use it with black pepper because this increases the absorption. So one teaspoon of black pepper and then three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And then a teaspoon of salt. I'm actually gonna be using this herbed sea salt rather than just regular salt. Gonna give it some more flavor. And then just get in there with your hands and mix it up well. You wanna squish the flavors right into the tofu. All right, and once that's all mixed up, put the bowl aside and we're gonna chop up some veggies to put in there. So start by chopping one red bell pepper and then fire that into the bowl. One green bell pepper, a half of an onion, two tomatoes, and then four or five mushrooms. Then you just wanna mix all that together and then just spread that out onto a couple of baking trays. So put that into a preheated oven at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and you're gonna wanna cook that for about 40 to 45 minutes. After about 20 minutes, you probably wanna give the tofu scramble a quick mix just so it cooks evenly. And then next we're gonna take advantage of that oven being on and roast some potatoes. So chop up about 10 medium sized potatoes and then put those into a large mixing bowl because we're gonna add some seasoning to it. So I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of this taco seasoning mix. And then once the potatoes are nicely coated, just put that onto a sheet pan or into a baking dish and then throw that in the oven with the tofu scramble. The potatoes are probably gonna take about 40 to 45 minutes. All right, so while breakfast is cooking, we're gonna move on to lunch. And I guess you don't really have to have them in this order. You could have the breakfast for dinner and lunch for breakfast or whatever you want. But to me, this makes the most amount of sense. So lunch is gonna be a chickpea and veggie salad with a creamy garlic and dill sauce. It's gonna be really good, nice and fresh, uh, perfect to bring to the office or school or wherever you need to. All right, so we're gonna start by straining and rinsing four cans of chickpeas and a can of black beans. It's a lot of beans. Add the chickpeas and the black beans into a nice large mixing bowl. Put that aside because we're gonna be chopping up a bunch of nice fresh veggies and adding that to it. So I'm gonna start with one orange pepper. So I know a bunch of you have already purchased them, but for those of you who don't know, I actually have a couple of recipe eBooks. So if you like my cooking, definitely check them out, especially my latest one, Easy Vegan Comfort Meals. It's got tons of delicious recipes like this using mostly whole foods, stuff that you can find easily in the grocery store, and uh, got a ton of sauces in there as well to make your food just taste amazing. So there's always a link in the description box down below if you wanna check any of those out, and it's definitely a good way to support the channel and say thanks to me for you know doing what I do here on YouTube and I really appreciate it. Two tomatoes. So you want to try and chop this stuff pretty small because we're not cooking this. This is going to be, you know, its final form. This is how you're going to be eating it. So you don't want like massive chunks of veggies in there. About a quarter of a red onion. About a half a cup or so of chopped purple cabbage. About seven black olives. Olives pack so much flavor into them, so that's why it's kind of nice to add to a fresher dish like this. And I love the taste of fresh herbs, so I'm gonna add about a cup of chopped cilantro and a cup of chopped parsley. And then just to bump the protein up a little bit more and add some healthy omega-3 fats, I'm gonna add five tablespoons of hemp seeds. Give that a good mix. So now that that's all mixed up, put that aside because we are gonna make a delicious creamy tahini sauce. A quarter of a cup of water, a quarter of a cup plus one tablespoon of tahini, one tablespoon of grainy or Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of dried or fresh dill, two teaspoons of maple syrup, the juice from a full lemon, half a teaspoon of salt, and a pinch or two of black pepper. Then just put a lid on it and shake it up. And then the nice thing about making sauces is you can always make adjustments to it after if you need to. So this looks like a perfect consistency, but it will thicken up throughout the week. So if you don't add it to the salad right now and you keep it in the fridge, then you might have to add a little bit more water as you go. But uh, let's see how it tastes. 
So it's a good idea to taste it before you commit to it. It's so good. Man, yeah, it's perfect. So for now, I'm gonna put this aside and check on the breakfast, the tofu scramble and the potatoes because I'm pretty sure that is done. Woo wee! All right, so that turned out really nicely. All right, so I'm just gonna let these cool back here. Nice. And the potatoes are perfectly cooked as well. Next, I'm gonna cook up the brown rice and lentils for dinner. And because brown rice takes quite a bit longer than lentils do, I'm gonna cook the brown rice first. So this is gonna allow this to cook perfectly and not make mushy lentils. So behind me, I have nine cups of veggie broth boiling. And to that, I'm gonna add one and a half cups of brown rice. And then after about 20 minutes, I'm gonna add two and a half cups of French lentils. Not a lot of room for error there. <laughs> and then once you add the lentils, you're gonna wanna cook it for another 30 minutes. So this is gonna be about 50 minutes in total. Next, we're gonna steam some broccoli. It's gonna be about 10 cups of broccoli florets. So cut all the little bits off like this, measure out 10 cups, and then into a steamer or into a pot with a steamer basket. And you don't wanna overcook this, so five to six minutes Seven minutes absolutely tops. Let's make a quick ginger, garlic, and tamari sauce for the dinner. So we're gonna start with two tablespoons of water, four tablespoons of tamari, two tablespoons of rice vinegar. You could use apple cider vinegar if you want as well. One tablespoon of maple syrup, and then about a thumb-sized chunk of grated ginger, and three cloves of grated garlic. And then put a lid on it and shake it up. Ooh, that is good. Potent, but really good. So it didn't make a ton of sauce, but I think this is gonna be just enough. And if you wanna make more, you know, throughout the week or whatever, you can definitely do that. Or you could thin it out with a bit more water, but it's pretty good like this. So once it's all done cooking and it's cooled down a little bit, it is time to put it into some containers. So I'm gonna start with breakfast. Got the tofu scramble, the potatoes. And then I'm also gonna add a couple tablespoons of salsa on the side. And then for lunch, that colorful chickpea and veggie salad. I'm gonna add a bunch of sprouts on the side and then pour on that creamy tahini and dill dressing. So if you didn't wanna pour it on right now, you could just put it into like a small container and bring that with you as well. And then dinner, brown rice and lentils, steamed broccoli. I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of hummus on the side and then pour on some of that sweet and savory garlic, ginger and tamari sauce. All right, so what I'm gonna do is quickly go over each meal individually, breakfast, lunch, and then dinner. Then I will go over the entire day so you can see the full amount of calories and macros and micros for the entire day. And then at the very end, I'll just quickly show you on the screen each meal for the whole week so that you can screenshot it or you can write it down and uh, you know it'll be easier for you to duplicate that way. So here's breakfast, the baked tofu and veggie scramble with seasoned potatoes and salsa on the side. So there's all the ingredients gives us 732.1 calories, 51.5 grams of protein, 99.4 grams of carbs, and 20.5 grams of fat. So here's the macro ratio if you're interested, and here are all the micronutrients. So you can pause it, have a look at those if you want. And then this is the chickpea and veggie salad with creamy dill dressing and sprouts on the side. So that gives us 655.6 calories, 32.8 grams of protein, 92.8 grams of carbs, and 20.5 grams of fat. And there's the macronutrient ratio if you're interested. And then here are all the micronutrients. And then dinner, the brown rice and lentils with steamed broccoli, garlic ginger, and tamari sauce with hummus on the side. So that gives us 719.3 calories, 37.1 grams of protein, 130.7 grams of carbs, and 8.1 grams of fat. Here's the macronutrient ratio, and here are all the micronutrients. So here's the full day, 2,107 calories, 121.4 grams of protein, 322.9 grams of carbs, and 49.1 grams of fat. Here's the macro ratio, and then let's have a look at all the micronutrients. So something here I noticed right away is like the omega-3 to 6 ratio isn't the best. So that could be bumped up by having some like ground flaxseed or something like that on one of the meals or maybe, you know, a small smoothie with some of that in it. And obviously protein is pretty high and all of the amino acids are met. And then as far as vitamins go, it looks pretty good there. Vitamin A is a bit low, so you could bring that up by substituting the regular potatoes for sweet potatoes, or you could have some shredded carrots on some of that, or you could even just have some steamed kale on the side as well, and that'll bring that number up. Vitamin D is not existent in any of that stuff, but you should be supplementing that. 
and then vitamin E is pretty low. And I guess we could bring that up with some sort of nuts or seeds and also some mango. Mango is a great source of vitamin E. And then the minerals look pretty good. Calcium's pretty dang high. Uh, iodine's kind of low, but if you are using iodized salt, that's gonna bring that number up. Iron's really good. Like, look how much iron is in that meal. And the rest is looking pretty good. Sodium is a little bit high, I will admit. I was just trying to make these delicious, so I don't know, if you need to cut that down, you know, it's pretty easy to do that with the salt or less tamari or whatever. And then zinc is pretty dang good as well. So I don't know about you, but I think this is a pretty good looking day. So these are the amounts for each meal. So for five servings, this is what you're gonna need to cook. And you might wanna screenshot this if you are gonna duplicate these. And you could probably also use this as a bit of a shopping list as well. So here's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, so there it is. Five days worth of breakfast, lunch, and dinner all packaged up, ready to be eaten. So I do want to quickly say, if you are bringing your meals to work or to school to reheat there in the microwave or something like that, do not reheat it in this kind of plastic. I know it's convenient, but this kind of plastic is crap and it will leach into your food if you microwave with it. So uh, invest in some glass Tupperware if you meal prep a lot or just like put it in like a bowl or on a plate or something like that if you're gonna pop it in the microwave or just reheat it on the stove top and that's gonna be your best bet. Anyways, just wanted to throw that out there. I think you guys are really gonna like these meals. They're all so delicious. The sauces are really good as well. There's just so much flavor in all of this. So if you liked my meal prep video, definitely hit the like button. Let me know you enjoyed it. It'll help me in the algorithm as well. If you make any of these, definitely tag me on Instagram because you know I like seeing your recipes that have been inspired by my cooking. Subscribe so that you can see more and I will see you soon with another video. Here's some other videos of mine that I think you might like. And if you're looking for some delicious and healthy plant-based recipes, check out my new recipe ebook, Easy Vegan Comfort Meals. It contains over 60 plant-based recipes, lots of delicious sauces that I know you're gonna love. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support.